Thank you for joining us in a new episode of Hope for the Sick and Suffering. Today, we are going to talk about the mother of Jesus and how helpful she can be for us on those days that we are dealing with confusion, with pain, with physical pain, and with frustration on any illness that we're having or suffering. And I want to share with you the story of my friend Claudia. In this specific time, we're going to talk about Our Lady of Guadalupe. My friend Claudia, today, she is around 50 years old. But when she was six years old in her native country, El Salvador, she was hit by a car in front of her house. It was a horrible accident. And when that happens to her, the doctors gave her no hope and she was very close to the verge of death. And she suffered a whole year in bed without walking, experiencing the pain and frustration of not being able to play like the other children. When I talk with my friend Claudia, she, she remembers and she tells me, Paula, you can't imagine how frustrated it was for me to be a six-year-old and looking at by the window, all the kids that were playing outside and I was in a bed without being able to move and Claudia's parents were so confused but they decide to clung into a great resource after that horrible accident and they prayed the Ave Maria day and night especially fervently they were asking to the Virgin of Guadalupe to intercede to her son Jesus for a miracle. They were begging, Virgin of Guadalupe, please give us a miracle. Please intercede to Jesus for a miracle. And they were all day praying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, woman, and blessed is the fruit of thou one Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Fervently praying to Our Lady of Guadalupe for a miracle for Claudia. One year after the accident, Claudia was all recovered. And her parents decided to take her by car from El Salvador to the sanctuary of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. They did that for five years every year on the same date to thank her for the amazing miracle. And when I talked to her, she says, I remember during those years was years of war in El Salvador. It was dangerous to drive from one country to another. But I did it because we were so thankful that my body came back after that horrible and terrible accidents and all the surgeries I had. And during all those five years, they brought flowers to thank the Virgin of Guadalupe for the miracle of her recovery and her complete healing. Today, she's 50 years old and she has no sequel of the accident. I also remember in my case, during my illness, I used to have in the hospital a big picture of the Virgin of Guadalupe and I prayed to her to help me for patience, for hope, and for understanding exactly what was the will of God. Our Virgin of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Guadalupe, is a great intercede. She intercedes for us uh, to her son Jesus all the time. We just have to turn to her and talk to her. Like a mother. You know, I am a mother and I have teenagers. And sometimes, they don't talk to us during several days, but we are there always available, waiting for them to come and talk to us. You, that you are dealing with illness, with suffering or pain, go to her. She's waiting for you to talk to her, to offer her help to you during these difficult days. I want to teach you a beautiful phrase and a beautiful song that you can use as a simple resource when you are confused, in pain, or angry. And you're just going to memorize this phrase that says, Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. 
Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. Can you sing the song with me? Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. Our Lady of Guadalupe, please show me the way. If you want to know more about the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe and how she can help you, please go online and look for it. It's going to be very helpful for your days when you don't know what to do or you're dealing with pain and suffering. You can read the story also on my book, 40 Gifts of Hope. You can get it on my page, paulaspeaker.com. I love you, God bless you, and see you on our next episode of Hope for the Sick and Suffering. You can follow my mom on social media at Paula Umana Speaker or paulaspeaker.com.